Welcome to today's video. We're going to have a look at power chords, what they are, and how to use them. I started with the intro riff to Back in Black, and that uses three consecutive power chords, so it's a pretty good example to start off with. Uh, what I'm doing is you may see E5, D5, and A5, if you're looking that up, uh, looking up the music for Back in Black. This means that I'm going to play the E. <laughs> plus the note that's five notes higher than it, the D, plus the note that's five notes higher than it, and the A, and the note that's five notes higher than that. So if we start with the E, I've got E, F, G, A, B. Counting from E up five, we get to B. So if I play E and B together, then I get the opening chord, the E5 chord. Um, if I play D and the note that's five notes higher than that, so that is D, E, F, G, A, that's D including the D, and counting five notes higher, takes me up to A. Notice that I'm playing the D string plus the A, which is five notes higher, which also means that it's two frets up and the adjacent string, that two frets up and an adjacent string, that's going to become quite important in a moment. So E and the note that's five notes higher, D and the note and the note that's five notes higher, and then A and the note that's five notes higher, and then a bunch of um, licks and that sort of idea, which uh, if you book lessons, then I can teach you that sort of thing. But That's the opening power chords. I'm playing the notes and then counting five notes from the notes. Not five notes extra, including the first note. So that arrives at a shape which is two frets higher and one string across. Two frets higher and one string across. So let's say I wanted to play the note G. I went two frets higher and one string across. This power chord, as guitarists would call it, or consecutive fifths, as classical theory would call it, means that I'm playing the note and harmonized with the note that's five notes higher than it and playing it consecutively as in the next note is harmonized the same way and the next note is har harmonized the same way and it's really bad in early classical music but it's really good in rock music so isn't it fun how uh, harmony changes over the years um, so here I'm playing a note and a note that's two frets higher and one fret across <laughs> That would give me the G5 chord. If you start shouting out uh, chords in the comments below for like, let's say, I don't know, a D and five notes higher, or a C and five notes higher. Uh, so you've got like Basket Case by Green Day. Pretty much anything by Green Day uses power chords. Um, one of the strange things that um, I'm going to be doing um, some videos on the effects that I use and looking at each individual effects box, what it sounds like and some popular riffs that come off that. So I'm using a basic fuzz tone, so this is good for any um, you know, punk rock stuff, you know, Green Day or Rasmus or, you know, um, I mean, even that slightly gritty sound of, uh, of ACDC, like, kind of <laughs> um, 
that's useful for. And what I get from a lot of younger kids is that they'll come in and they'll say, I can play uh, Black Knight by Deep Purple. I'm like, great, have you ever heard the song before? Um, you know, got these tiny little you know eight year olds playing tunes from the seventies, which is fantastic. And it's kind of like, Bang up to date. Well, I say bang up to date. This tune was um, in 2004, so it's not that up to date. Yeah. If you've got ideas of music that you want to learn that's a little bit more up to date, then drop those in the comments and I'll give you a hand with that. Um, book lessons through the website and as always if you want more information on on these videos you want you'll have to subscribe to it first and then hit the notif notification button and that will show you when uh, I post new material um, you may not find it that useful it might be the wrong instrument for you you may be learning different styles but share it with people that you like and the more you share it the more the teaching gets to the right people I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.